What is intermittent fasting and how do we use it to help avoid jet lag on long haul flights? I'm Jackie Almer and welcome to Travel Life by a Pilot Wife. You can learn more at highaltitudehabits.com. What is jet lag? Well, it's basically when your sleeping and waking patterns are disrupted and there's nothing like an overnight or red-eye flight to do that for you. It's when you arrive and your body feels tired and sluggish because it's confused. So let's talk about how we can reset that quickly so that you can make the most of and enjoy your travel time. So let's say that you're taking a flight from New York to Hawaii and you're departing New York at 5 a.m., local and arriving in Hawaii at 10 a.m. local time, which is essentially an 11 hour flight. Let's talk about how you can completely maximize that experience starting the day before so that you avoid jet lag. Now you may think that arriving at 10 a.m. in Hawaii is great, right? You're ready to go enjoy the day, but your body's basically saying, hey, not so fast, that's 4 p.m. local time. I'm tired, I'm hungry, and I need to get acclimated to this new environment. Your energy is low because even though you've basically done nothing but fly over the last 11 hours, it's been up for most of that time, unless you're really a great sleeper on the airplane. Intermittent fasting can help you offset that and not spend the next three to four days trying to recover. So here's how we do that. First question you may be asking is what is intermittent fasting? Intermittent fasting is time restricted or as I like to call it time specific eating. And it's important to incorporate that with avoiding certain foods and beverages to optimize your situation. Time restricted or time specific eating engages your internal clock and can help reset your circadian rhythm. I know that sounds super scientific. We won't get into all the science in this video. Just follow along and it will begin to make sense. And of course, good sleep's going to help. So how do we get all that set up? Let's start specifically with the day before you travel. Ideally, if you're leaving on a 5 a.m. flight, let's say your goal is to get to sleep by 8 p.m. Then what you wanna do ideally, again, is consume your last calories, your last meal by 4 p.m. that day. That allows a four hour, so ideally a three to four hour window between the time you finish eating and when you go to sleep. This gives your body plenty of time to complete its digestion cycle, and so it's not gonna be fighting with the inner uh, rhythm of your body to begin to release melatonin and fall asleep. So allowing your body this break between consuming food digestion and going to sleep does help you sleep better because all of that is done and out of the way. Now, ideally what we're going to do is set a goal to not consume our first meal until 8 a.m. the next day. That gives you a 16 hour fasting window between your last meal and your first meal. And hey, when you really think about it, you're going to be busy anyway with last minute packing. You're going to sleep through most of it. Then you're going to get up, get ready, get out of the house and get to the airport and clear security. So really and truly, if you keep your mind busy, it's much easier to process and do all of this. Now, if you really find it difficult when you wake up in the morning to get yourself going, it's okay to still have water black coffee or tea, and if you absolutely can't take it without having something, put a little bit of MCT oil, which I've mentioned before, MCT oil in my Bulletproof Coffee video, which I'll link below, put a little bit of the MCT oil in your coffee, just a teaspoon is plenty, but it essentially floods your body with healthy fats and gives it just enough to get you past the hunger pangs and on into your day, and when you do that, you might just notice a real boost in your cognitive thinking ability and you'll find that your brain might become really super clear. Now, technically this does break a fast in terms of a lot of the other benefits of fasting, but for this particular situation where we're working on jet lag, it's an acceptable procedure. Now, assuming you've managed to make that from 4 p.m. the night before till 8 a.m. the next day, You've completed that 16 hour cycle and that's gonna really set your body up for success with this fasting cycle. What you wanna ideally do, however, is when you break your fast or eat that first meal of the day, you wanna make sure that it's filled with healthy fats, high protein, and very limited carbs. 
So a breakfast of eggs and bacon or sausage with maybe a side of avocado, that would be a great healthy alternative. Perhaps a protein shake or smoothie with a high quality protein mix where it's not a lot of junk, not a lot of added sugar, because again, you wanna restrict anything highly processed with a lot of sugar in it. But something again, that's going to fill your body with good nutritious food and get things really flowing and set you up to be satiated not get so hungry on the rest of the flight and take you through the rest of this protocol that we're going to cover. I'll also link my seed cycling recipe that I have profiled in my healthy snacks for the airplane video. I'll link that below, but it's something that you can freeze the night before, take with you, and it's ready to go. And it's a perfect breakfast, meaning break fast. Now, if you're going to do eggs and bacon and you're going to bring it with you, you'll have to get a little bit creative in how you store that. But I have found that with some foil and a pack that's either made for cold or hot, you can get it from your oven or skillet into the car through security and be ready to eat and it'll still stay warm. That's another video. Now some examples of healthy fats that you'll wanna consume, certainly coconut and MCT and coconut oils, as I mentioned, olive oil is great as well. Egg yolks, um, avocado, nuts, nut butters, those are great examples of healthy fats. I also like olives. Some people don't prefer that for breakfast, but I don't really differentiate out my food. And then protein, good example of protein would be lean, uh, pasture-raised, pasture-fed, meats, certainly good protein powders that again, aren't loaded with a bunch of extra sugar. Ideally, you're going to want to not consume anything else on the airplane. So you board at 5 a.m., you eat your healthy protein, high fat quality breakfast at 8 a.m., and then you allow at least 12 hours to pass before you eat again. Now, while you're on the airplane, make sure you stay very hydrated with water. You can drink decaffeinated beverages preferably, um, but you want to avoid a lot of caffeine because of course it, it robs your body of hydration and it can also affect your sleep cycles. So water and then using electrolytes. I'm a big fan of electrolytes in my healthy snack video that'll be linked. I talk about electrolytes to keep your body really efficient with those different things that it needs, especially while you're fasting. And I know this is a deal breaker, but please avoid alcohol. I know it sounds no fun, but again, our goal is to set you up for a positive experience all the way through this trip that you have planned without going through three to four days of jet lag and feeling tired and sluggish. So ideally, if you could wait till 2 p.m. Hawaii time local, landing at 10, eating at 2 p.m., that's going to be perfect. And if you could push it to 6 p.m. and enjoy a fabulous dinner of something like um, poached salmon, steamed broccoli with a half an avocado and a salad with olive oil and balsamic, that would be ideal. And then again, I know, avoiding alcohol that first night so that you can set yourself up for good sleep. Same as before, try to allow at least three to four hours between your last meal, the last calories that you've consumed until you go to bed. Set yourself up for a good night's sleep and be ready to rock it the next day on your exciting adventure. Now, again, I wanna stress, when you break your fast, make sure that it's healthy, lean proteins, healthy fats, and avoiding processed, sugary, sweet things, highly processed foods, carbs, and those basically wasted calories. Now, just to showcase a couple of ways I've mentioned before, my little travel bags, I, these go everywhere with me when I'm travel and I keep all my food in this so that I can quickly bring it out, put it through TSA on its own because food often get, gets flagged. That way they don't have to go through all the rest of my bags. And if there's any culprits that they want to take, which honestly, I've never lost anything because I pack it well, I know the rules, and I share more about that in other videos. But I travel with these. Um, I mentioned MCT oil. There's several different ones. This is a bulletproof one. And in the link below, I will leave you uh, where you can order the little packets. 
these are, this is a different brand, but traveling with little packets of this coconut MCT oil is great. But I also, I've showcased this little uh, travel thing that I have. When I squirt this out, I fill it with MCT oil and it's literally one teaspoon right in the dropper. And you can certainly buy these little bottles just about anywhere that you can store. And these with the screw on lids that are made like this, they do particularly well carrying oils so that you don't have any leakage. Um, cacao butter. I like to travel with this as well. This is another great way to add a little bit of flavor into coffee. It's a healthy fat and can take the place of or accompany your MCT oil. And again, I'll leave links below. Beyond that, I like to travel with little packets of almond butter and be sure to watch my healthy snacks in flight video to get some better ideas of things that you can travel with. Now I'll be sharing more great meals on my channel on how to travel and stay in peak performance. If you'd like to know more about intermittent fasting, please get my free guide. Go to fast.highaltitudehabits.com. Intermittent fasting is something that I've used for many years now to avoid jet lag, to really fuel my body well, and to shed some extra pounds and really just enjoy life and eating in a whole new way. So I'm Jackie Elmer, Travel Life by a Pilot Wife. Please like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. Let me know what else you'd like to learn about. And of course, I will see you on the next video. Learn more about me at highaltitudehabits.com.